guys, today we're taking a look at these Jerry Q watercolors. I purchased these off of Amazon. I was trying to hit free shipping. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of watercolor stuff on this channel and over at natosoup.blogspot.com in the Watercolor Basics series. And I know a lot of you guys complain that you don't want to pay out the nose for watercolors. It might not be worth it to you. So I picked up a super cheap set on Amazon, a brand I don't necessarily see a lot of people review. We're going to take a look at that today. All right, so it is a 24 watercolor set. It contains one plastic box, 24 watercolor pans, one brush, one sponge, and one glass dish. And it has not been opened, but you can hear it rattle. Slip the sleeve off. The case itself isn't bad. Sometimes these cheap sets can be worthwhile just so that you get a decent case. Because palettes used to be pretty expensive. All right, so push that in. It's already reminding me a bit of the Sakura Koi sets. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. And I am taking pictures as I go. Some of them are gonna go on my Instagram and some of them are gonna go to my backers. Ooh, we have a piece of natural sponge here. All right, so we actually have a lot of palette space. This is pretty cool. I think it is probably strongly inspired by those Sakura Koi sets. And I have a review of that here on this channel as well. And I am working on assembling even more water watercolor paint reviews. All right, so this is our set. I believe it's got, let's see. I didn't bother to turn it over and I don't really wanna do that now, but I feel a ring. I'm actually gonna remove these. And hopefully this doesn't, oh, it did. All right, well, you know what? We'll endure that. So those are not secure in there, but it's got this really cool ring mechanism. I'm gonna quit fiddling with that. Oh, that's annoying. So they all just fell out. As you guys can see, there's nothing to keep the paints in their container. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Clear my desk off a little bit, put the ring back. And I'm gonna spend a little bit of time reassembling that. Um, let's see, it does actually provide, oh, that that's in like whatever order. Okay, fine. And these don't seem to have any color name on them. All right, so I'm gonna reassemble this. I'm gonna base it off of the picture on here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'll be honest with you. Um, I can't tell what goes where uh, because this is actually a different layout than what they sent me. And I did do some rearranging, but it's, yeah. So if yours falls out like this, that's, um, that's going to be fun. So, uh, I know I said I was going to skip this, but part of me thinks you guys should have to endure my torture with me. And I'm doing my best. It might not be the correct order, but I mean, who really, who really, who really cares all that much, right? Um, this is an inexpensive set I bought off of Amazon. It doesn't even list the color names, so... Oh, some of these colors, I can't tell what they are. I'm just gonna sing y'all, I hope. I hope that's okay. I assume that is black. I don't know. Maybe it's green, I don't know. That's probably a blue. Looks like it goes there. This looks like it went there. For those of you who hate being tortured, I apologize. I'm gonna pop this one out. So if you wanna travel, well rather, if you wanna invert this thing, then you might as well put some washi tape or some double stick tape down in there. Make sure ain't nothing moving nowhere. Hmm. Whatever, I will put this gray right here and then this green, and then this green, and then that, and then that. Hey, we did it. 
we did the thing. We're so smart. So in addition, it's got a small ceramic dish. Just kind of fits in right there, which is pretty handy. Um, I really wouldn't use this to store my water. This just not really big enough for cleaning out your brushes. However, this might be really good for like a larger wash. And then it comes with one of these brush. Okay, so this is basically the same model except with a shorter body as the, let me see if I have it. I have so many brush pins. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the Sketchbox quote unquote signature is really just like a generic Chinese water brush and they work fine, but there ain't nothing signature about it. Unless your signature is buying a bunch of Chinese pens and then signing it with your name, which is sort of a signature. Okay. So next up, we need to do some more swatches. All right, so I grabbed some watercolor paper and this is the Pentalic Watercolor Journal and you guys can have, head over to natosoup.blogspot.com and check out my watercolor basic series for a review of this when it is finished. And I filled the water brush with water. It hasn't been activated yet. And I look like I've been swatching makeup because my hands are all glittery. So I went ahead and started that and I'm kind of, so yes, I think I will do the swatches with this thing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to activate all these 1 billion T and one pans. So I'm going to drop some water onto each. Right, so I just went ahead and I added some water to all of them and I'm going to give it a minute and let it kind of soak in and then we're going to swatch them with this water brush and it's a very cute little water brush a very compact little water brush um could they have included a full-size little water brush where did I put that thing um possibly let me see if I can yeah all right so here is the original mm, no they'd have had to leave out a pan for that but you know that's fine that's fine problem with a size like this is this you're gonna so when you use a water brush even though you have and these are these little brushes this is a real little sponge by the way um it, it can be used for a couple things it can be used to clean out your brush although i think it's a little easier just to use some um like a paper a paper towel to do that or you can use it to like add some natural texture or to sop up some areas of color. So let's go ahead and I'm not going to give any color names because there aren't any color names, but I will grab a paper towel. And we can clean it out. Oh, sorry. And you guys can see how much water you have to expel to get all that paint out. And of course I'm making a huge mess. Colors are fairly saturated. I'm gonna skip the white for now. I don't normally use white when I do watercolor anyway. And I'm gonna have to do smaller swatches because I'm gonna run out of room. But you a lot of color. I have a feeling this might be a good competitor for the Sakura Koi set. This is Johnny Q. I guess like Johnny Quest. Oh, that's actually a good, let me re-get it again. That's actually a pretty good skin tone. Yeah, this might actually be a good little set. I mean, the colors are pretty opaque, which is not good, but you know, they're opaque because, uh, Optical brighteners like uh, talc or chalk were used. So I gotta go fill this thing up. We didn't even finish. We didn't even get all the way around. So I will go do that. All right. And we're just gonna keep on rolling through. But so for all of you who I see using those artist loft sets, this is already a better, better pigment or color load. I hesitate to say pigment because I'm 
don't really know if they're using pigments or what, but better, no, that purple's not great. Um, you're just getting a lot more color. And I mean, really the only way to tell is with a field test where you're layering and doing washes and just kind of putting it through its paces, but these colors are fairly bright. Little, um, actually kind of remind me of, say, Japanese watercolors. And these, this is a Chinese brand. Um, it reminds me a bit of, like, the Kurotake Gam Gambai Ten Tansei set that I, like, I reviewed it and then my computer died and I lost my review and I never got it up. So anyway, the colors are fairly vibrant. They leave a rainbow in your cleaning rag. And uh, the set itself is pretty neat. Um, it was very affordable. You guys can find a link in the description below for the set. And uh, keep an eye out for the, um, the field test. That's how you really know whether or not these things work. I'm gonna let this dry out before putting it away entirely. But I'll see you guys with the field test in another video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, there are a couple of ways you can help me out. One, you can head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup and join the art nerd community and help fund these sort of videos. And that sort of patronage starts at just a buck a month and you get all sorts of backer exclusive and early access goodies. Um, and two, you can write to companies on my behalf or you can get really vocal on your favorite social media. Share this video with your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or um, oh, Pinterest or uh, Tumblr, I think. I'm sorry. I think I'm getting sick, so I'm getting really fuzzy-headed. But um, those are two ways that you can help me out, and it helps me out a lot. One of them doesn't cost you a dime. The other one costs as little as a dollar a month, and it helps me continue to make this sort of content and help you guys out. And I've been doing a lot of chat on my Twitter account about watercolor painting in specific but art supplies in general and you are totally welcome to come chat with me my handle is at natto soup and just let me know that you watch my videos so i kind of get an idea of where you're coming from so thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you again really soon and i hope you guys have a great day bye